G'day, I'm Corey Wild. Travelling through Patio was the last place I expected to see a model of a great white shark. This is actually the entrance to Underwater World and inside they have a whole range of marine wildlife. The greatest thing about Underwater World is that visitors of all ages can get right up close and personal with the marine life. As you come into the entrance, you can see they've got a, a touch tank here and there's a few different species of marine life. We've got some uh, sergeant major fish, got some archer fish, some sea stars, also a, a cat shark. And this is really good for children because they get to experience and actually touch some marine creatures. Wow, have a look at these guys. These are Japanese koi fish. Very valuable for certain colours and certain patterns. Take a moment to see the painted crayfish. You can see where he gets his name. This is a rapima. It's a freshwater species of fish. Interesting thing about this fish, it also surfaces and breathes air. It can grow up to three meters in length and weigh over 150 kilos. This is where underwater world really begins, below the surface. It's almost like you're underwater without a scuba tank. Here's the diver. Hey. And see why he's getting mobbed. I think I might have to get in there myself. The Mekong catfish, and they grow absolutely huge over two, three hundred kilos. Big moray eels. Some are a dull pattern, other ones have beautiful leopard patterns. Now, they do look scary, but they're not usually aggressive unless you try and hand feed them, which is definitely not recommended. But uh, you can swim with moray eels. Oh, here, yeah, little blue spot ray, stingray. Hello. Seahorses. Aren't they magnificent? There's 32 species of them. They can be from a one inch dwarf seahorse right up to a one foot Pacific seahorse. The female deposits her eggs into the male's oviposter, which is an egg pouch, incubates the eggs, fertilizes them, and gives birth to the fry. This one in here is hanging onto the boat. The boat actually serves a purpose. They like to wrap their tail around, feel, makes them feel secure, also keeps them in their territory. So they have their own tank, and uh, yeah, it looks like they're enjoying it. I think I might have to get in there myself. Blow the water out. Oh, we get in here? Yeah. Okay. Wow! Have a look at this boat! It's a big sleepy shark. Should we wake him up? This is actually his rest area. And then the tank is out there. So if I give him a little tickle, he might turn around and swim out for us. He's like a big puppy. Come on, mate. Let's go for a swim together. See you later. I'll take my bodyguard with me. These eagle rays are extra friendly. They know I have a bag full of their favourite shellfish. Hey, watch the fingers. I can hear them crunching the shells. They have bony, plated mouths.
<laughs> the tourists probably think I work here, even though it's my first time to Underwater World. But anyone can do it. Amazing! This aquarium is huge, like an Olympic sized pool, full of marine life. Trevally, reef sharks, swimming with a sea turtle, cool. I wonder how old you are, I know you can live up to 80 years of age. It's so tranquil, just myself, bubbles and the fish. That was wild. You know, the really cool thing about it is, anybody can come here, even if you've never dived before, they'll take you down with a dive master. You can hand feed stingrays, swim around with the shark. Awesome stuff. I'm Corey Wild, catch you next time.